Good afternoon on this Saturday, September 1st, 2012. We still have the remnants of Tropical Storm Isaac located out across the central United States where there are still tornado warnings in effect and the rivers continue to rise across southeast Louisiana to the north of Lake Pontchartrain. For more information on those issues, go ahead and check out our social media updates. But as we take a look into the tropics, we're still dealing with now Tropical Storm Kirk. It was a hurricane at this time yesterday, but it has begun to weaken and it's starting to move out toward the northeast away from land. And finally, we're still dealing with Tropical Storm Leslie, now situated to the east of Puerto Rico. As of the 5 p.m. Eastern Time Advisory, Leslie has maximum sustained winds of 65 miles per hour. It's moving toward the west-northwest at 18 miles per hour, but it is forecast to gradually take a turn more toward the north, and it should go on to become a hurricane as it starts to approach Bermuda, and Bermuda is just barely on the fringe of the Cone of Error at five days. And it looks like this storm is going to nearly stall out here, which is going to make the forecast track even more difficult. But the main thing to take away from this is that a direct hit along the U.S. East Coast is looking unlikely at this time, but interest within Bermuda should definitely keep up with the tropical updates over the course of the next five to seven days. The at z Tropical Model Suite also show a slowing storm within the four to five day period with a consensus just to the southeast of Bermuda. And the latest GFS Ensemble tracks as a 12Z are in pretty good agreement with a track near or just east of Bermuda, but even interests out across the Atlantic Canada region need to be paying attention to the storm as even if it does take this turn toward the northeast, there is a chance that some of the areas around here could be impacted down the road. It also looks like we have a pretty good model consensus showing Leslie steadily intensifying into a Category 1 or possibly even a Category 2 hurricane between 4 to 6 days. As of this afternoon, it does not look like Leslie is overly impressive at the moment because we see that the surface circulation is outrunning much of the convection to the north. You can see that the center is partially exposed and all the convection is located in the southeast quadrant. So over the past 24 to 36 hours, there has been a bit of a problem with the upper level ridge becoming vertically stacked directly over the tropical cyclone and that is allowing for some westerly and northerly wind shear to impact the storm and that is the reason why we are currently seeing the disorganization. As we take a look at the water vapor imagery you can see that we still have a lot of northerly flow here across the central Atlantic and that is thanks to this troughing here that we see associated with the upper level low. So the greatest concentration of upper level ridging is situated a little bit more toward the west and the flow around that ridge is the reason why we're seeing the northerly wind shear. The wind shear analysis from the University of Wisconsin shows that we do have a very narrow pocket of favorable upper level winds situated just to the west of the center but as we just talked about with the water vapor that upper level ridge is still not vertically stacked directly over top the cyclone and that is why the northerly wind shear is continuing to be a hindrance to Leslie. The synoptic pattern and the forecast track of Leslie has not changed all that much compared to yesterday. This is the latest 12Z run of the ECMWF 500 millibar height forecast and you can see the current long wave trough out across much of southeast Canada and the western Atlantic and that is going to help draw Tropical Storm Leslie more toward the northwest over the next 24 to 48 and even 72 hours, but here by day three you can see that the trough is starting to advance more toward the east and by next Wednesday morning, day four, we're starting to see a little bit more in the way of ridging here to the east of the mid-Atlantic United States and that is going to help Leslie begin to slow down and also the upper level wind shear should become gradually less to the immediate south of this upper level ridge. So as the storm is starting to approach Bermuda, it should start to slow down and begin to intensify more than likely into a hurricane. And then finally by day six, even though the second trough is in no hurry to move toward the east, it is slowly beginning to advance and this should go ahead and be the next one that actually picks up Leslie and turns it toward the north. But in the meantime, it's too early to say if there's going to be a direct landfall over Bermuda, but you may want to anticipate hurricane watches or warnings in a few days. So you might want to start making those preparations now in the event that Hurricane Leslie were to impact you in the near future. Also, interest across Nova Scotia and especially Newfoundland should keep up with the progress of Leslie over the next week or so. The good news is that there are no other immediate threats in the tropics at this time, but thank you again for following 28storms.com and the Hurricane Tracker app, and we will continue to provide you with rapid updates throughout the remainder of hurricane season.